Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Irene and if you're new here, well, so am I. This is my first ever YouTube video and I'm really excited to um, become a part of this YouTube family and get to share my own thoughts and um, experiences and things all related to luxury. I love these types of videos. I am constantly on YouTube and watching other people's uploads of their unboxings of bags or uh, reviews of handbags and things like that. So I am very excited to be able to create some of my own videos and hopefully you guys like them. So if you're interested in any of those type, types of things and you're a handbag lover like myself, then um, I hope that you will like and subscribe. That would help a lot. And let's get started. Um, over winter break in 2020, we've had a rough year and I have um, done some shopping. I was actually really good for most of the year, but then came the winter break and, you know, us being stuck at home with COVID, a lot of us kind of resort to retail therapy, something that I am 100% guilty of. Um, so I actually went online to Louis Vuitton and I started scrolling through their pages of beautiful, beautiful bags and SLGs. And of course, lately, all the rage, uh, it's been all over the, the internet. It's been the pochette minis and the, those, you know, those, um, the Kirigami bags from Louis Vuitton and all those sorts of things. So I kind of was interested in getting one for myself, especially lately, you know, I have other luxury handbags, but I've been really paranoid about using them, especially when I go out the rare time that I go out because of all the hand sanitizing that we've been doing other people around me and like the pe I just don't trust people. I know I'm paranoid, but because of all my other luxury bags are like leather, it makes me really paranoid to use them out in public nowadays. So I've been kind of searching for something that I can carry around with less worry, something that's maybe more canvas based, even though yes, canvas can actually get damaged by hand sanitizer as well. So please don't be fooled and don't be completely unconcerned about that. It's still something you need to watch out for, but not so much as uh, leather bags. So I came across these mini pochettes and of course they are literally sold out in every single color. And so I never thought I would be able to get my hands on it, but here in front of me, sitting on this table, I have not one, but two Louis Vuitton mini pochettes. I went a little bit crazy and I probably shouldn't have. It's not a very responsible financial decision that I made probably, but I have to say one was a gift from my husband. So thank you. And uh, let's get straight into it. I'm sure you're tired of me blabbing away. So this is the first box. So I went to Louis Vuitton twice. Right now they are really good at limiting their capacities. So you have to actually book an appointment um, to actually get into the store so that an essay can help with you one-on-one. -on -one. Now you can also do walk-ins, but that's going to take you longer. It's not a guaranteed time. They'll give you like a window they'll say okay so the next appointment's available in approximately half an hour come back then and we'll text you so it's actually i feel pretty safe going there right now which is nice so keep in mind that i actually have opened these already um i couldn't wait okay and not to mention i wanted to check them over in store first before i actually brought them home it'll save me a trip i figured so this is actually the first one that i had wanted to get now the sa at the Louis Vuitton store had actually told me, I went there the first time and they said, um, it's not available. So I was looking for the Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the monogram. And of course that one's of course the hardest one to find, hardest one to track down. And they, he told me, Hey, just wait, give me your phone number. I'll text you if it does come in stock. And I think we're going to be getting something in stock in a week or so. So I was like, okay, let's just text me. And little do you know, two, three days later, he messaged me saying, hey, the mini pushettes that you've been looking for is here. And so I'll send you a link, pay for it, come pick it up. So that's exactly what I did. So it comes in this really cute little pouch, as I'm sure all of you guys know. And here it is. Here she is. Gorgeous. You guys hear that? 
<laughs> I think everyone gets a little kick out of hearing the chain on this um, mini pochette hit the canvas. I, there's something about it. And it's got, of course, the Vachetta leather. This piece in particular is made in Spain, but considering how difficult this piece was to get, I'm not going to be super, super picky about it as long as it's not made in the United States because I've heard from other YouTubers and other videos that I've watched that um, those are not particularly the best. I don't know. I have never gotten one piece from the United States, but this one in particular is made in Spain. Okay, and oh my God, these are the best. There's a little tag in here. It just says, what does it say? I don't know, coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, and then textile, some, oh no, maybe that's French, whoops. <laughs> okay, so there it is inside, brown lining, um, and there's not a whole lot to it. If you, I mean, if you're watching this, you probably are very familiar with this, but you can unclasp this one end and actually connect it to the original loop where the Vachetta leather is and turn it into a wristlet, which, I actually don't prefer. I actually really like the look of the chain hanging over here in front and it's adorable. So I plan on carrying this bag like this or like this, or I've also actually um, ordered a Vachetta leather strip or a strap, sorry, from Etsy. And I'm still waiting for that to come in through the mail, but for now I will have to deal with it as is which is great, but this little guy holds quite a lot. So really awesome. I'm gonna show you guys the other one. So then of course, after I went and got my monogram piece, I went home, I loved it. But then I am one person who, I own one, two other things from Louis Vuitton, not a whole lot. I own the Speedy 25, Speedy B25, but I have it in down here at Bean. Now I love the monogram look, but I am a person who get very who gets very paranoid with things as you can tell from my whole issue with carrying my other leather bags out in public with hand sanitizer but i didn't like the idea i really don't like the idea that the monogram canvas always comes with the fichetta leather and i understand it looks really great that's why it's a great seller and a lot of people like the patina that it gets when it gets dark over time but i don't like that i think that it makes it look old and especially if you're not careful with this and you like expose it to rain droplets or things and you're not protecting it properly it can stain it can have um uneven coloring and dis discoloring i guess so um i started to get really paranoid with this one and i was thinking am i going to love it five years from now if it has vachetta leather and if it maybe doesn't turn out as nice as i'd like it to one day now i know there are um things that you can spray on to it. But even then, I've heard that you can't stop the shadow leather from patina, the patina process. All it can do is prevent it from getting water stains and things like that. So I don't know, I this is literally only my second piece. I have my toiletry 15, which is actually right here, stuffed full of stuff right now. But this has vachetta on it. But I rarely try, to, I try not to touch this piece of leather. I'm not gonna lie, especially when I have um, oily fingers from putting lotion on or something, I really don't touch this leather. I'm way too paranoid that it's going to darken or whatever. But this uh, Tole Tree 15, I always just keep in my purse as like a catch-all, so I don't expose it really to the outdoors or the outside world as much. It's usually sitting in my purse. So then, because of this whole Vachetta situation, I was like, maybe should I should have gone for the Damier Bean. So then, of course, I um, texted my essay and I said, hey, um, is the Damier B mini pochette still available? And he's like, oh yeah, it is. I can send you over the links, so of course. I went and I, I got it. So this is where the second bag comes in. And it comes in this beautiful orange and box with the blue tab, of course. Love these guys. And in here, put that to side. Here it is, and here is the beautiful Damir Ibn mini pochette. 
These two items are essentially the same, except for the fact that the monogram has the Vachetta leather and the Damier Bean has the treated leather, which you can be much more carefree about. You don't have to worry about water stains or anything like that. The one other difference that I that is there, that is apparent, is the fact that the inside of the Damier Bean mini pochette is red, has the red coated lining, which I think is pretty typical of Damier Bean pieces. My Speedy 25 Bandolier also has red inner lining. So besides those two minor things, these two are the same. Oh, this piece right here is also made in France. So I got lucky with this piece and I got it in France. I don't know if you can tell it's teeny tiny, sorry. Okay, not like it really matters. I bought it anyways. <laughs> so there's those two pieces but wait we are not done because irene hasn't spent enough money yet so while i was checking this baby over in store we were seated in in front of this display case you're not allowed to really walk around and explore so much right now because of covid they ask you to stay in one spot while your essay goes and assists you and grabs pieces for you that you're specifically looking for otherwise they really don't encourage you to walk around and wander like they used to so while i was sitting at my seat being following my rules i and right under my nose was this other piece now this is a piece that is also sold out and you cannot find it online right now i've tried many times um, but again I saw it at the store that I was at so here it is the small box so I wonder if you guys can tell I don't know why this box is also a lot tighter a tighter fit all right so inside here we have this guy the key clay I think it's used to call it be called the key clay now it's called the key pouch if you look it up on Louis Vuitton it is in the Damier at Bean, as you can see. Um, they also had the monogram version and I looked at it, but I don't know, the monogram, don't get me wrong, don't feel offended if I say this, but it almost felt like the print was too large for the size of this key pouch. So um, I went with the mini little, little e Bean because the squares seem to look kind of, uni well, not uniform, that's not the right word I'm looking for. It looks like it fits the size of the bag, the little pouch essentially. Inside is brown, and these are just the tight tag with whatever. And in here, that's all it is. Um, I know a lot of people use this to put their credit cards in, some cash, some coins, and then they hang their keys, which I love this lock, by the way. Um, I did not know this is how it opens, so you can't just like push it out. It doesn't work that way, okay? What you have to do is you have to pull this up and push it out that way it's more secure the essay was explaining to me this way you don't have to worry about your um, lo losing your keys if this thing ever gets caught somewhere so I have my keys right here so what I can do is I'll just loop it in and I'll secure it by pushing it in and like that there you have it. I think this is so cute when you um, are leaving the house in a rush let's say you're running errands really quickly um, and you don't really need to carry anything other than your car keys, some cards like this is perfect. I, I love this. I've been looking for something like this for a long time. Um, I have a Prada key holder, but it is very bulky and I find that it doesn't hold as many cards as I need because if you put too many cards in there, it doesn't clip uh, close. Whereas this is actually perfect for what I am looking for. So that's awesome. And last but not least, I have one last thing, and this is probably the biggest thing. It is the biggest thing. It is a Givenchy bag that I've been wanting for years, ever since I started looking at bags. And I know this bag has been out for quite some time. Um, people have been saying since 2011, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. But um, I also know that it's not quite as popular as it used to be. Nevertheless, I don't care. I love it. I love the look of it. And I think it's going to be a very functional, practical bag for me. Another black bag. I have so many. Not so many. Not that many. I don't have that many bags. Um, I actually ordered this bag from Essence. It's a Canadian-based store. And I know they ship worldwide. And there's 
so many people who actually have done reviews on them on YouTube. Um, I have never actually bought anything from Essence before, but they were great. I actually had no issues other than um, this bag came later than it was supposed to, but that's all because of the COVID situation and everyone's ordering things online and shipping things online, which is slowing down the whole system and yada, yada, yada. Anywho, inside here is my new baby. She is the Antigona Mini. This is the mini size. So, and this is the box leather, the black box leather. So it's the shiny leather. And I was super, super scared and worried about this bag not wearing well because usually you'd think that shiny leather like this that reflects light so beautifully, if you get scratches on it, it'll wear too easily, it won't wear well, it won't stand the test of time. But I have done my research. I have watched many of fellow YouTubers and all the girls that have this bag say that they've had it for years and it is actually held up really well. In fact, I have seen a lot of these bags in the pre-loved market um, in the pebbled leather or they call it the sugar leather, I think, on Givenchy's website and it does not look good. It looks like it's been, it looks old. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. They don't wear as well, I find. And so I decided to go with the one that I really loved, which I've loved this one for years. When I first started looking at this bag, I was looking at the small or medium size, but realistically, I don't carry big bags. And so there's no point. This mini bag is even better because it offers a long strap. Now, the tag is still attached here. So it's got the Givenchy tag in there. It's got... It's made in Italy, it's, what is it? 100% calf skin, calf, ha calf hide, I don't know. And inside there's a care booklet. I'm pretty sure there's also a square of leather that is really helpful for testing out any cleaning things or if you wanna use any sort of lotions around it before using it on your actual bag, you can actually test it on the square piece of leather that they give you. I don't know if many people do that, but that's what I would think to use it for. Um, I would personally use it for that purpose. If I ever to use any cleaning products or anything like that on this bag, which I really don't think I'd need to. I feel like everything would just wipe off pretty easily on this thing. But yeah, I would test it on that square that they give it inside the care booklet. Now, a lot of people have had complaints about these straps. If you take a look at these straps, they're not your typical D-ring clasps or lobster clasps, clasps, can't speak, um, that you're used to. They have an opening and on the actual D-ring itself, there's also like a divot. I don't know if you can tell. It kind of is just right. If you put it in the right position, match it up, it'll go in and that's just how it's secured. So whether it's very secured or not, um, I haven't used this bag enough to know, but let's see here. If I can get this guy on, there we are. There we are, there she is, the beautiful mini Antigona. I really like the mini size, it fits a ton and the strap is a perfect length for my height. For reference, I am 5'3" and a half, I like to round up to 5'4 on a good day. And when I carry this on my shoulder, it fits, it hits me at the perfect spot. I love carrying this top handle. You can have this kind of wrapped around. You can have the strap tucked inside. You don't have to have it attached outside. Um, and where, when, when I wear it cross body, it hits me a little bit higher, but nothing that bothers me at all. Um, I'd say that if you were trying to wear this over a big coat, it might not work crossbody if you're my height but if you're wearing sh uh, on the shoulder it's perfect I, it's hard for me to find uh, bags like this that actually work well on my frame and my size um, just on one shoulder I find a lot of crossbody bags I have to wear crossbody for the strength the strength for the strap length sorry to work better on my height uh, for instance I have a Chanel mini rectangular I love that bag However, I find that the strap, it's because it's not adjustable, I have to be careful about it slipping off my shoulder because, or like hitting things because it's too far down on my hip. And so I have to wear it cross body and it hits me perfectly then. So I'm not complaining, but 
So there she is. I'll do a, th a quick 360. She's got the leather feet. The side is very simple. I love the big textured zipper. It's actually really smooth. I always thought that this would be a very rough zipper to use, but as you can see, if I can show you guys high up enough, here we are. It's so smooth, no issues whatsoever. People also complain about the opening of this bag being really tight. I can see that it's small, but it's not as bad as some people make it out to be. Maybe I'm just more willing to look over it because I love this bag so much and I've wanted it for so many years. I think I've been wanting it for like three, four years now. So the fact that I finally got it from Essence and not to mention on a sale, I didn't pay full price for this. I was able to snag it for about 600 or so dollars cheaper than the current asking price um, of any new mini Antigona. So um, keep your eye out for sales, ladies, for men. And because this bag, uh, it goes on sale. Don't pay full price for this because I know Canadian dollars right now, it's being sold for $2,485. And this is before taxes and shipping. So if you're buying from online stores. So that's quite a bit for this bag. I paid $1,800. A little over $1,800, $1,818 or something like that. So keep an eye out for sales. Um, I know that My Teresa, um, Essence, and there's a lot of other online stores that actually sell this. And if you keep an eye out for sales, this bag will go on sale. And I was curious when I was online, the I had actually called Essence because there was two bags that looked exactly the same. And one was priced at 2,400, one was priced at 1,700. And so I had to call them and I said, is there anything wrong with this one? Is there a defect with it? Or is it return? Or is it, what, why is this one priced so much cheaper? And the person who helped me on the phone was like, yeah, so what happens is this one is actually uh, an last year's version that, that Givenchy made. Although there's actually nothing that's been updated on this version. It was literally just made last year and it just didn't sell. Um, and the one that's priced at 2400 was made this year, I guess, but it's literally the exact same bag. There's, they didn't update any of the clasps. They didn't update any of the linings. There's literally no changes to it, but because it was last year's, I was able to snag it for hundreds of dollars cheaper. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I hope you guys really liked this video. I, oops, I really enjoyed filming this. This is my first video ever. So I hope that the editing process won't be too painful. We're gonna have a knack at that, a little tryout at that. Um, but anyways, if you guys liked this video, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and I hope to see you guys back for some more. Bye.